today we're putting up green transport. We've already got several other ones about the environment up on the wall. The plan is to do seven, one a year with year six with the pupils at Fox Primary School. We always check the wall over, brush it down, get the dust off, knock off the bits that are sticking out, and we use a sponge to just make sure it's not too dry. Eniku and Esme are doing fixing. This lovely mirror and then green gold going into the gaps. And we'll glue it in with super glue once it's up. Because there's so many handmade tiles, it's too heavy to lift up as one, so we had to section it into three parts. The bottom has green transport on it, the middle part has all the figures and the different ways of getting around and modes of transport, and the top part has all the train signs and the DLR signs and the buses. Just putting on a first skim to smooth the wall, get a good... What does it do when you put on a first skim? Gets a good kind of... It gets all the adhesive into all the holes. Pressing it hard in and gets a smoother surface to work with and then a second coat which is notched. Sharon's an award-winning tiler and uh, we're very lucky to have her on the team. The notching has to be a certain depth and then we press the tiles in, hand press in with our fingers and you push the bigger tiles in harder and the smaller tiles in lighter and you check with your eye around each tile for the ooze, the cement adhesive that comes through. You want it to grip the back of the tile but not be standing proud otherwise it will come through the grout. There are three that we've made for this school so far, all on the theme of the environment. There's biodiversity and reforestation that are already up, just further up the road. And then there's this one, green transport, and then we have a series to make, one a year with year six making the tiles. It's halfway, we've got it up with adhesive, cement adhesive, and we're just waiting for the cement to go off. That's a set, enough so we can grab it. We've protected the wall by taping all the way around it. Um, we're just picking out all the bits of adhesive that are proud so that when the grout goes on you won't have any adhesive poking through. And it's thirsty work. Once the cement has set, we start with the grouting. You have to race against the clock because it sets really quickly and the weather. We had rain and we got lucky it went away. You have to wear gloves so you don't get dirty hands, it's really bad for your skin. You can see me and Sharon have got two different methods. She's using a float and I'm using my hands. I like to massage it in. But you will get lacerated and you will get grout in your gloves, so be careful and you can knock a tile off because it's all quite soft at this point. There's a big team of us because it's really important you get the grout off before it sets and then you start to pick at all the little bits in the residues. Ah, hello, so this is the Bucks Primary School and this is from my year. So um, I made a sunset down here and I also made a leaf but I can't find it. <laughs> and um, yeah, we, it was supposed to be about like the transport and stuff. So I made the, I made a leaf because it was about like care about nature. And then I made the uh, sunset because it's really pretty and it's still about nature. So it's a legacy as well that you've left for everybody, isn't it? I'm excited to see it when I walk past and I'll be like, hey, I made that. This one is the best one here because I made it. Did you? <laughs>